Hey guys, it's Matchy here again. Today we're drawing a disembodied hand throwing up horns with eyeballs on the finger, making it into a creature. That's, I really don't, I wish I had a more concise <laughs> name for this, but I just draw this stuff, I don't name it. Um, it's gonna be ink and Derwent Ink Tense Pencils. I did another video a little, talking a little bit about those. If you want some more information, you can check that one out. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, but today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about process and not specifically this process, just process as an artist in general. Um, process is a really big thing for me. Um, I think about it quite a bit and I'm very deliberate about my process and um, whenever anybody talks about you know improving as an artist I say you need to get you need to figure out your process you need to get a process which is something that's always evolving for me and I'm sure for all artists I'm sure um, so process is something that kind of I became aware of you know obviously everybody does it but um, to really think and, and take in consideration process was something that kind of came to me, I'm going to say late in my artistic journey, and, and late by, I mean, hopefully I have a lot longer to go, so not that late, but late comparative to when I think I should have probably picked up on it. Um, like, even in, in school, I didn't really think too much about process. I did it, but... Um, one of the things that really opened my eyes was I bought this book and it was just another book about drawing comics or whatever, which is, I have tons of piles, tons of them. And for whatever reason, I, I, I bought this one and I was going through it and it had stuff in it that no other book about drawing comics has. Like every, every book about drawing comics is kind of like the same and, and just drawing in general, if it's, if it's manga or or whatever, they kind of regurgitate the same, you know, the same stuff. And um, this one really had, in, it, inside there, there was stuff about process that no other book really touched on. And this guy had, uh, and I'll, I'll, it's not on my head right now, but I'll put the name of the book and a link to it in, in the description. But he talked about, and I, I wish I knew the author's name to say it right here in the video. I, I apologize. Um, I'm just kind of going off the hip here. Uh, the, the artist, he he broke it down with his whole process. He's like, okay, first I thumbnail, then I do a rough at the actual size of, of the page. Then I blow it up on a on a copy machine, because this is an older book probably do it with a computer these days um, he blows it up on a copy machine puts it on the light box tr traces it with blue line pencil then does a, a more refined pencil and that would be his pencils if he was sending it off to another person to ink or you ink it and so on and um, it was just really mind-blowing to me I think the steps all the steps he put into it and how much how much refinement you can put into your work um, by doing all these steps because I think previously I, I kind of felt like okay well you draw your pencils and you ink it and there you go and uh, and I don't know I just never really considered much more into the process and so once I started thinking about that you know I kind of replicated what he was doing which I think was a little more tedious than what I what I do but you know I you, you I mean you're watching this video you can see I do my rough sketch I do my rough sketch digitally because I like to be able to adjust it to the page size or make lots of edits if I need to. It's really flexible to do it digitally. And then I'll, if I'm doing traditional art, I'll print that out, which sometimes I do do drawings on paper too, but if I'm doing, my regular process is I'll do it digitally. So I'll print that out. As you saw on this video, I printed that out. I actually did a value study on this one. And uh, I'll print that out. Then I'll use that to make um, a more refined pencil sketch on and transfer it onto the onto the paper. And even in the digital, even in the digital phase, um, there's a lot of refinement. Like I'll do a rough, and then I'll do a more tight pencil, and then if I feel I need to, I'll do even more tight pencils over that. And that the digital the digital phase, I, I 
I labor over it a lot. So once it gets to the phase where I'm doing it actually on the paper, you know, it's everything's really figured out, which I think that's what big thing of what process is to me is I like to number one, not get too precious about the original drawing. And number two, um, it allows me to really refine the artwork and really the time when you're taking like these steps of your drawing the same drawing I mean you're going over and over and over it like you know three four five six seven eight times you're um, you're really looking at it and you're really analyzing it and you're, and you're catching things you're missing or you're getting rid of things you think don't work and um, you really are kind of really just you know and that's and it happens at every step of the way it happens you know like I said I do a lot of labor in the rough sketch stage but even when I'm transferring it in pencil onto the paper at that phase I'm I'm mentally editing it and I'm I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna do when I ink it and you know it gives you lots of time to just think about what you're doing and then even in the inks I'll, I'll make you know hopefully by the inks I really like to have a a plan and know you know the pencils are really tight and I like to even though it's ink myself inking it, I like the pencils really tight because I don't want to really um, make changes at that point, or or you know really have to think about you know oh what am I going to do here or what am I going to do here. I want to like plan, but even at the inking stage, there are points where I'm like okay, well I think I'm just going to do this instead, or you know, so that's that's to me is the benefit of process and having let's say uh, just all these steps really just helps me number one think about the artwork allows me not to get too precious about the artwork even though you're spending more time on it you think it would make it more precious but there's a lot of um, I'm sure a lot of you artists have experienced this is when you draw something you're like uh, I don't want to ink this because I'm gonna ruin it or I don't want to blah blah because I'm gonna ruin it or you know and you know because you're like oh well it's perfect now but I, I don't get that way about it. And the thing is, is when you have so many steps, it's like, well, I could go back, I could print out the, the rough drawing again and, and start over, or I could, you know, I mean, you're hella steps back, but, <laughs> but, you know, it's there's those options there, so you're not so worked up about, you know, what if this doesn't work, you know? So I think that's one of the things that you really need to get by as an artist is not to get too precious about your work, and to not you know worry that like if this piece of art doesn't work out it's like the end of the world or you're throwing away your life or something you know it's you're, you're gonna do lots of art in your lifetime and that's what what it is so I've already talked past the the sketch so I'm gonna say adios and uh, we'll talk more next time well thanks for taking the time to watch my video hopefully you learned something or were at least entertained if you want, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll see more of these videos coming in the future. You can check me out on Instagram. My name there is matchy.art. I also have a shop where I'm selling this original art for this as long as it's available. Um, and I'll put a link for all that stuff in the description. Um, here's a couple videos you might also be interested in. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.